Well, hello. I am Richard with EV for You Custom Conversions. And in this upcoming video series, we're going to feature this VW Beetle. It's a 1971, I believe. And uh, we can check the VIN and find out for sure. But I believe it's a 1971 VW Standard Beetle, not a Super Beetle. And we'll do a quick walk around. But instead of just bothering you with this another uh, beetle conversion this one's a little bit different in that somebody's already started it so we're going to kind of complete the project for the customer and we're going to I don't know we're going to either do it the way that we always do it or we may kind of do a little mix and match because they bought a um, a conversion kit from I believe EV West and so we may just do um, the EV West uh, set up or we may do kind of a hybrid in that we're going to use some of the EV West um, layout and some that is um, what we normally do. So we'll get into that as we get into this car. We're just looking at for the first time here. There's no bench on the back seat. You see there's a bunch of bunch of wives. So we got to make heads or tails of what somebody else has already started. Looks like some documentation. Box of goodies. He did leave us the driver's seat so that we can test drive this thing. And um, But there's quite a bit of work to be done. Um, the pedal assembly has been removed because he was going to um, install this Prius pedal which is down there in the dark and so we'll take a look at maybe continuing that or doing it the way that we normally do it we'll see what you know what's what components are here and available and figure out the the method that we want to go forward with Let's take a look under the bonnet. Got some more cabling. Cable already has lugs on it. Fuel tank has been removed. Looks like we got our pre-scaler sitting there and uh, the Expert Pro. Whether or not we use that, undecided at this time. So, wiring's actually pretty clean for a VW. <laughs> it's the conversion stuff that they have. There's the ABC2. Kind of a little bit of a mess. We'll clean all that up and make heads or tails. And, uh, like I said, it's not determined exactly what we want to do at this point let's take a look at the engine bay here no spring on the deck lid so i gotta hold it up we've got the elcon 3.3 kilowatt ch charger on the firewall there we got some fans there i'm taking it there's a radiator underneath there looks like a pump that's their coolant reservoir um, Looks like a panel's falling down right here. Um, wiring harness going forward. We'll probably pull all of that out if possible and kind of refit these things. Um, and you can see, yes, it's EV West. Um, so, yeah, we'll. 
we'll figure this out, what we want to do. Some more stuff up here. We've got main disconnect switch. Get a fuse and holder. Shunt. Main contactor. We've got uh, schematic diagrams. Layouts. Looks like some notes. So forth. So we'll we'll take a look at what we have to work with. Here's the Prius pedal. And so it's got the wiring harness plugged into it there. And I don't know if the customer made this or EV West provides this, but we'll see. See what uh, what's going on. Pedals have been disconnected, so we're gonna have to reconnect those. Fun. That means the hopefully the clutch cable's still connected on this side, so we don't have to. Or has that been bolt been removed? Have to take a closer look. So anyway, didn't show you the dash before real well. We've got a hole on that side. We've got um, the speedo. We've got the Curtis 840 display. A radio blank. No radio. So, yeah. So this is just a shot of the the before, and uh, I just you know thought you might enjoy walking through the process here of um, of this conversion that's different in the aspect it's not an EV for you um, layout and uh, we'll take a look at how this goes together and I have a feeling we're gonna just because I like the way that we do things uh, that that we may use some of their stuff that they already have but we may uh, deviate in some aspects and do it the way that we do it but to save the customer some money and so forth, we're probably going to have to do things a certain way in that they've got all these pre-cut cables. And so, you know, if we try to reuse this, um, the lugs, of course, aren't reusable. So then, you know, these are almost three bucks a pop. And there's about 20 of them that are used. So that's 60 bucks right there plus... You know the time to do it and so we'll see we'll see of course none of this is sleeved there's some sharp edges so we have to do something to protect the cabling and of course all the other wiring and that it passes through the original heater uh, port there so yeah we will get on that uh, let me see over here. Notice that the uh, battery negative is still hooked up. And uh, that's always the first thing you do. So we'll disconnect the battery negative. Even though they didn't have the positive hooked up, always disconnect the ground. Job one done. We'll take a look at the documentation and see what they have. Um, there's some stuff in here. So we need to just kind of sort through things and uh, find out um, what what's been provided and um, and figure out how we want to proceed. So let me kind of sort and think about things, and I'll I'll cut back in and share with you my thoughts. Well, my e golf was already in here being charged and it was cold out today and so I should have moved it out 
and then um, things would be a little easier. But instead, I've got to jockey things around. So that's what I'm doing. So once I move the uh, the bug behind the e-golf, then I'm gonna have to jockey the e-golf out to uh, go out the roll-up door here, but the e-golf will move under its own power. I'm gonna have to push the bug. So we had moved the bug back, allowed us to jockey the e-golf out and out the door. We then moved Bob, our, our bug, forward. Now we'll push the uh, customer's vehicle back. We're pushing it in the back because there will be more room for it to, uh, to open the doors and to be working on it. So it's gonna go in the back here. Plus, Bob gets driven. Got to have him work and get it out easy. So. We just had him pushed back so we can get the, the VW thing out. It left yesterday. This one arrived this morning. So now we have plenty of room to work on this thing. We can get all the way around it. I can open the doors all the way. And so that'll work. And then this table here will be used to lay out, um, you know, parts and wire and so forth. See what we're doing, see what we have, see what we need. and. Uh, get this thing rolling okay so we emptied out uh, the stuff that was inside the, the vehicle there was a lot of paperwork that either copies of stuff or stuff that's not really relevant um, and so we s segregated out the stuff that that is Guess what? We got the spring for the deck lid. We'll put that on first thing. Uh, we've got some fuses. We've got the main disconnect. We've got our, our J1772. Looks like the back for uh, the gauge. A um, bunch of gland nuts. BMS stuff that we're not going to use. And uh, so there's the, the Prius throttle. So we kind of pulled things out, like I said, trying to get a feel for what there is to work with. We want to take care of the pedal situation. Um, 
the stock pedal is gone so we don't have the option of doing what we normally do so we're going to use that Prius pedal just got to figure out the best way to mount it um, there's a photo of that box I guess is what it did look like or supposed to look like or something so we'll take a look at that um, and so the wiring hasn't been run front to rear yet there's the you know front battery box and there'll be a rear battery box behind the seat um, so there's our DC to DC converter right there so some of this stuff looks like it's already been kind of wired but I think we're going to revisit some of this stuff because that doesn't look real good we'll just take a look and see what needs what uh, I, I wish the wire hadn't had the crimps on it already and everything give us a little more latitude here but we'll see what we can do so like I said one of the next things we're gonna do is we are going to um, I'm, I'm gonna sort through this mess here that's our KSI relay um, if you've watched all my videos you'll know that I hate these kind of connectors that needs to go um, and so we'll, we'll just kind of make heads or tails of all this a um, bunch of grounding stuff over there so yeah well, you know there's more than one way to skin a cat and so since I'm skinning this one we're gonna can't do it my way and get rid of some of these connectors and uh, and do this one step at a time so you don't have a mess like this I mean this is hard to make heads or tails out of it so when you, you come in the middle of the game you know so um, yeah Let's see what we can do um, so yeah the, the, the deck lid spring um, the throttle connect the pedals the brake and clutch and all that just kind of get stuff you know at a baseline and then we'll um, also one of the next things I, I got to um, get the uh, battery box specs to the uh, this is the weekend but I'll have those for them Monday morning for the fab shops so we get the battery boxes going we are bottom balancing uh, the cells these are the cells that are going in this particular vehicle and so we're in the midst of bottom balancing so things are rolling along we knew this was coming so we had ordered the the, the cells previously um, should have ordered the battery boxes but um, wasn't sure how I wanted to do the layout in this particular one I think I'm just gonna go with the standard the layout so order our standard boxes yeah just gotta figure out a little more of the big picture where some of these components are gonna go since it looks like a lot of these wires are already connected and cut we're probably going to have to put things, you know, not where we normally do, but where this uh, kit had, uh, had designed for them to go. And I'll have to spread out the cables and see what's going where, you know, what, what links we have available to make all this happen. So yeah lots of fun one step at a time 
and uh, it just it just gets better with every step you make forward progress uh, we're kind of starting off behind so we, we're kind of cleaning things up in such a way that we kind of are familiar with what's going on since like I said we're, 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 in, we're coming in you know mid game here and so um, got to see what what they what they've done and how they were doing it and see if that's uh, gonna work the way that we want it to work and see if we'll continue on or make some uh, changes so we've got um, our, our, our room here you can see we got room to open the doors and work all the way around this car 360 that's all you need okay we've got plenty of room in here but we got things that are coming and going all the time and so we like to make sure we have room for adjustments this thing's going to be here for uh, a little longer than anything else at this point and so it's the furthest back Bob gets driven the e-golf gets driven the trailer goes out so those things are all where they can be at the ready so this one's back where it's going to stay put for a while while we while we have some fun so let the game begin.